All right, we begin with last night's election. Tracking results, bringing you reaction from Rhode Island's Congressional District 1 primary. From 13 candidates now down to two, we know who will face off in November to fill the seat left vacant by former Congressman David Cicilline. So here it is, former White House staffer Gabe Amo winning the Democratic primary with nearly a third of the vote among the 11 Democrats still in the race. Former state rep Aaron Regenberg finished second. State Senator Sandra Cano third. Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos came in fourth. So Amo will face Republican Gary Leonard, who scored a convincing win over Terry Flynn. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in studio with new reaction this morning. And typically going into an election, guys, there's public polling. So there's some idea of which way the race could go. But because this was a special primary election, that didn't happen. So it was anyone's game. And former White House aide Gabe Mo was the one who came out the winner last night. His dad, perhaps the most excited in the room. Take a look. I can't say it's something that they imagined when they first came to this country, but I'll tell you this. It is a reflection of the people across this district. Their story is like so many others, people who work really hard and want their children to do well and contribute in some way. For me, it's the opportunity to serve as a Democratic nominee for the first congressional district of Rhode Island, and I'm going to work as hard as I can for every single vote in November, and hopefully after that, get to work for people across the state. All right, it was a big victory for the kid from Pawtucket turned White House advisor to Presidents Obama and Biden. There was a lot of skepticism, though, over how yesterday was going to go. First of all, it was a crowded field, so it was not going to take much for a candidate to win. And then there were all of the external factors as well. It was a special election. It was the day after Labor Day. It was right in the heart of back to school, and it was hot. But ultimately, it all worked in Gabe Amo's favor. And speaking to his supporters, he credited his consistent messaging for for his victory last night. So now Gabe Amo will go up against Gary Leonard, who is the Republican nominee in November's general election. All eyes on that now. But guys, for now, I'll send it back to you for more of the results from last night. All right, latest on last night's primary election results are in this morning from yesterday's election for the first congressional district. So we know it was a crowded field and voter turnout was going to play a big role in the results. But in the end, former White House aide Gabe Amo came out on top. Much bigger win than anticipated based on all the polling leading up to the election night. Eric Ritchie live in studio right now, breaking it all down. All right, and let's get right over to the results right now. Gabe Amo taking nearly a third of the vote, leading the second place contender here, Aaron Regenberg, by nearly 3,000 points, within, which in a special election with a crowded field is quite a bit. So our politics editor, Ted Nisi, says it appears that Amo captured a lot of those undecided voters. These were the more moderate Democrats, whereas in the final weeks leading up to yesterday, Regenberg was appealing to the more left Democrats, bringing in politicians like Bernie Sanders, to stump for him. Now, Amo told us after his victory was called last night, it was his consistent messaging he believed to voters that made a difference in the outcome. From a gun violence prevention to protecting reproductive freedom to uh, combating climate change, I am ready uh, to, to get in the fight uh, as we uh, support everybody across the district, from our seniors uh, to our young people and everybody in between. Then I got into this race for Congress because I'm hopeful. And I want to reaffirm right now that as tough as tonight might feel, I remain hopeful. And Regenberg mentioned that when he called Amo last night to congratulate him. He went ahead to tell him that he supports him going into November. Amo will now face off against the Republican nominee, Gary Leonard. You can find a full breakdown of all of the results from last night on our website right now, WPRI.com. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.